just a brief review of the movements of the wrist or the uh, carpal metacarpal joint and the other joints of the wrist hand complex um, using pictures of actual hands. So first we have the wrist joint in the sagittal plane about the um, medial lateral axis and it goes through flexion and extension. Then we have in the frontal plane about the anterior posterior axis, we have radial deviation moving toward the thumb side, ulnar deviation moving towards the uh, pinky side, um, about 15 to 20 degrees of radial deviation. So you have less than you have 30 to 35 degrees of ulnar deviations. When looking at your CMC or your carpometacarpal or the saddle joint of your thumb, um, in the frontal plane, you have flexion extension, right? Because your thumb is about 90 degrees out of um, phase. So here's flexion and then extension. You have in the sagittal plane, abduction or away from the midline, adduction toward the midline. And then you have this combo multiplanar motion called opposition so that your thumb can touch the pad of every other finger and apparently our cats can't do this so that separates us from them at the metacarpal phalangeal joint so your metacarpals are in your palm and here are your phalanges your fingers you can do uh, flexion extension about the medial lateral axis so about 35 degrees of extension past mid or past neutral and 100 degrees of flexion you can also do a frontal plane motion aba deduction um, about the anterior posterior axis remembering that your middle finger is the midline so fingers moving away from the midline a deduction fingers moving toward the midline a deduction and then finally you have your uh, IP joints. So your interphalangeal, your proximal, and your distal, except your thumb only has one, and they can flex and extend in the sagittal plane about the medial lateral axis.